Hello everyone, Dr. Hassan Tawheed here. Today we will talk about how to write research papers or how to be a published author. When we ask this question to an international medical graduate or anyone who wants to write something and publish his paper or her paper, they usually don't know how to write papers initially because this topic is not well understood and is not much studied in the school days, medical school, especially people coming from, in, uh, from other countries, international medical graduates, they do not have the formal training to write research papers. And this program is for those international medical graduates who do not know how to write research papers or who have never published their research papers. So to write research papers, you need to remember the structure of your paper. To, to do anything, let's say to make a painting, you need to know exactly what are you doing. To go to any destination, you need to know where you're exactly heading to. So you need to have the end in mind before embarking on a journey. So you need to know what you're writing about, what are you doing, and how your paper will look like. So you should have the structure of your paper in your mind. That's the key. The first point I emphasize to all of my students that the first thing is the structure of the paper. You need to know how your paper will look like. A typical paper is written this way, the structure. The first thing is the abstract. If you see any research paper, it starts with an abstract. Then the introduction. Once you're done with your introduction, you jump to the method section. You write the methodology or the method and sometimes in some research papers you will see they talk about re methods and material. After method and material is done you write the result or results. Once you're done with results you write down the discussion section. Once your discussion section is done, you write down conclusion and you conclude your article. But there has to be a last heading. You need to remember this. This is not an essay. It is not a storybook. It is a scientific research article. So you finish it with references because you will cite the information you are writing. So your first heading will be abstract, then introduction, then method, then results, then discussion, then conclusion, and then references. You follow this structure. If you see any research paper, most research paper, more than 90% research paper you will come across will follow this structure. But something we need to remember here, that this abstract, the main key I'm going to tell you about is that forget about the abstract right now. Do not focus on the abstract so far. Right now you just focus on the introduction. How do we write introduction? Whenever you are given a task to write a research paper, nobody tells you how to write a research paper. And you got to start with your own mind and you don't know how to do it. And nobody te teaches us from the very beginning, very basic. And this is what we are going to do today. I'll tell you right from the beginning how you write it. You start your paper with introduction and introduction will have three paragraphs. If you are a beginner, you have never written a paper, I suggest you stick with three paragraphs. Your first paragraph should talk about what do we already know? What do we already know? That means why are we, uh, or we can say the little bit of background of the information which is known. Let, let's say for example, we're talking about cancer or we are talking about lung cancer. We are writing about lung cancer. So initially we were given basic information about lung cancer which already is known by most people. That should be what is a lung cancer? What kind of lung cancer are we talking about? We are talking about small cell carcinoma or we are talking about some other lung cancer. So what is small cell carcinoma? And how many percentage of people are affected? What are the causes? Some basic information in the first paragraph. That's how we start the first paragraph. But remember, what should be the length of the first paragraph? Many people are confused what should be the length of the paragraph and we are not told about it. 
Most research experts, they suggest that your paragraph length should be minimum five lines, minimum five lines, and maximum half a page. That's how you write the introduction, first paragraph. When you write it down, you move to the second paragraph. If you have written it, just move to the second paragraph, and then the second paragraph, you will write down what is not known. This is strange, right? Because you have never, never written the paper before, you have never studied this topic before. How do you know what do you write about? Uh, what do you know, what what we don't know, know about? So this becomes a challenge. But the good thing about it is that what is not known actually means what is known to you so far, and what is no not known to the reader who will be reading your article. So this actually means what is your research question? Let's say you are writing about causes of small cell carcinoma. Now we will start in the second paragraph what is small cell carcinoma and uh, uh, that was the first paragraph and the second paragraph the causes of small cell carcinoma has be, have been defined by several or have been explained by several authors and you just give the little bit of detail what is not known and why are we writing this paper we want to expand the knowledge more and we want to expand and enhance the knowledge and we want to know what other causes of small cell carcinoma exist. So once you finish that, remember again, five lines and half a page. Maximum length half a page, minimum length five lines. And then the third paragraph. Third paragraph is the key how do we finish our introduction because we need to remember this that we need to finish our introduction in such a way that a reader is forced to jump to your method section and then he jumps to your discussion section following the result, results section then he jumps to the discussion and then conclusion so you are actually creating such a paper that everybody loves to read so how do you make it interesting to write the last paragraph you need to remember some basics of the third paragraph which is that you will write the third paragraph when you are done with your whole paper. Yes, when you're done with your whole paper. We will come to the next part, how to write research paper, which is the method section, but in the next video. And if you want more details, you can join the research training at our Institute, California Institute of Behavioral Neurosciences and Psychology, and join our classes and be a published author after writing your research paper and successfully going to the match. Thank you.